did you become so strong, especially in such an early age? <laughs> Uh, well, I suppose there's, there's three things that I've always kept quite deep in myself, I suppose. Mm -hmm. is that uh, There's three principles. You know? One is, of course, you know, I, I try not to be afraid of things. Yeah? Um, and that, you know, I always focus on the love of things, basically, or passion, or like, you know. And so not being afraid and essentially just loving your life and loving yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, you know, we all have a meaning of why we're here. Uh, and that's something that that I always believed that I had my own meaning of why I was the way I am. Okay. I've always wanted to go for triathlons. Mm -hmm. And I've tried some, but I've only managed to do a dual fun because I can't ride a bicycle. Okay. So I'm trying to, I'm setting up a, can like a, a project soon that I, I'm trying to get this bike, this bicycle. Uh, which is it is the three the three wheeled yeah, one? Yeah, it's a trike. Yeah, where well, you it? sit down on it, right? And yeah, you sit your feet. on it. You, it also, there's also two wheels of it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's called a recumbent uh, bicycle or trike. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to hook up one as well. It's pretty expensive. It's like 12k. Okay. But uh, hopefully... Uh, You'll be able to raise the funds. I'll be able to raise the funds. Because that's more or less what you do, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Back yeah. in school, back at university. What was it like approaching women? It's fine, you know. I mean, I... I have a funny story to tell you, basically. Mm. Um, sometimes, well, sometimes, uh, you know, when, when girls used to ask me, like, um, you know, I, some of them asked, like, how do you, how, like, you know, how did you lose your arms or, you know, something like that, right? And I used to say that, oh, well, you know, I used to be a surfer dude. I mean, I used to surf. And then, you know, there was these sharks. And I got, like, you know, my arms got eaten by sharks. And uh, they would believe it. And, and be uh, impressed. Well, I don't know whether they'd be imp Yeah. <laughs> you think that your daughter may be, uh, be able to use all limbs, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's funny, right? Like, because she sees me using my feet, mm -hmm. right, on everything. And I carry her with my feet. I, I, uh, and her, her gestures are starting to show, like, you know, she uses her feet for her, ge for her gestures. Like, you know, when I say, give me five, right? Mm -hmm. She puts her feet up, right? How old is your baby? She's about... Uh, f almost six months. Six months yeah. old, yeah. And so she puts her feet up, right? And mm -hmm. it's funny, right? And she might be one of those weird kids one day that'll be like, you know, writing notes on the table while texting underneath the table. Tell us a bit more about your uh, current endeavors at the moment uh, for charity. Yeah, well, you know, I, I as you mentioned, I run a mm -hmm. the Zarif Initiative and mm -hmm. we run a few community projects. We're, we're a company, we're a social business, uh, so we try to do good as well as uh, make money at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, which makes it double more difficult, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of challenges in doing good things as well. I mm -hmm. think sometimes, this is what I've found, is that you know, doing good things is even more difficult than doing bad things, right? And, uh, and so, you know, we, we, we've been running volunteer projects, uh, we've been running social entrepreneurship uh, endeavors, uh, creative entrepreneurship endeavors. In fact, uh, we're opening up a space, right, uh, called uh, the crib, uh, or it's a cafe crib. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a bungalow that we've transformed into. Um, crib stands for uh, create, innovate, and build. Nice. Okay. So basically, it's all about creating, mm -hmm. innovating, and building things, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we're actually launching, well, soft launching. We're opening up our doors uh, this evening, actually, mm. in fact. Mm -hmm. It's in PJ. So, so what would be your um, philosophy on over overcoming hard times or difficulties? Or trauma, even, especially mm. in this particular point in time. Well, I suppose at this point of time, yeah, I mean, even looking at like what's happening yeah, these days, right? Um, I mean, the big tragic is, of course, uh, yeah, the missing airplane and all that you know and uh, a lot of things happen in a lot of times right yeah uh, whether or not it's tragic whether or not it's you know horrible right or personal or personal or collective. exactly or collective exactly but ultimately i always believe that you know it's through those tragic moments that we find the best of us as human beings yeah and i even saw that when i was you know when the tsunami happened that was when i saw the best of mankind people gathering together, people coming together mm. and showing solidarity, people understanding one another, giving a hand, mm. right, and helping out, being, uh, you know, uh, um, considerate towards each other's feelings. Mm. So it's always, I always believe that, you know, in those hardest times, we show our 
greatest strengths. And humanity. And humanity, exactly. Thank you very much, Zari, <laughs> for joining us today. It was very inspiring being with you ah, in the studio. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for inviting me as well. Thank you.